G'day folks, well, I'm here with my uh, friend uh, Julian who donated this 3S GE engine that's had a very hard time. We're just taking the uh, bearing caps off just before he goes home to uh, see what horrible things happen to it. Uh, this is the one that's been hanging off the crane for the last couple of weeks and well the sump's got nasty amounts of metallic debris in it. As you can see in there, little flakies and chunkies. Yeah, well we've taken number one off, which I think Toyota, yeah, I think Toyota engines are number one at the front, which is, yeah, number one. Reasonable amount of wear, but this engine was run for a considerable amount of time with no oil pressure. That's not too diabolical, but let's find out where the chunkies came from. Move on to number two, three and four, and then take the mains off, just in case one of the mains has failed. Well, we found the source of the knock. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. There's it's well here too. Yeah, it's welded to the crankshaft. Part of it's come out the side. Oh no, it's it's on top of the other cat. It's on top of the other shell. There's the upper shell. There's the lower shell, and they're overlapped on top of each other. That's the good cap from the other cylinder, number two. Oh, Which is, like, sad. it's worn, but it's certainly not horrible rod knock worthy. But that one has completely eaten part of the shell. Well, oh, sorry, the big end cap. And that's probably the upper shell. That's the lower shell. And they're completely overlapped and... Oh, they're not welded together. They are free somewhat. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at that crank journal. Yeah, that's not really worth salvaging. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's, uh... Eh, that's a sad bearing. That'd be why it stopped. Oh, it stopped, all right. Considering it's supposed to look like that. Wow. <laughs> That's carnage. Where's the other one gone? Yeah, they were overlapped on top of each other. These edges are all rolled over compared with, well, they're supposed to be completely smooth and flat. <laughs> I think that's the cylinder that died. Let's just check this one here though. It is also remarkably stiff. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if both four and, sorry, three and four were spun that crank journal is completely rooted. I know it's a forged steel crank, it might be grindable again, but I'm not going to hold out hope. God, this oil's sticky. Some heavy oil. It's almost like gearbox oil. Wow. Okay, on the last end, number four and the rear main. Rear main's acceptable. Number four, being last in the order of oil delivery, has just been completely starved and burnt, started burning up. It hasn't spun, but it is just burnt black. The oil residue on it's just carbonised. So number four wasn't far off. Because you've got the oil pump front and front of the engine here, oil pickup, oil discharge on the other side, coming through the crank, uh, failed bearing there, spurting, just dumping oil pressure by the end of it. Number four, suffering. Uh, the rearmost main bearing is also suffering a bit, but not quite as bad. And uh, yeah, complete catastrophic failure. Look at how smooshed out that bearing shell is it's almost a quarter of an inch wider than it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's about 
It's about four millimeters wider than it's supposed to be. That's impressive. Oh, we know how that one died. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, one last video on the 3SGE. I'm not going to bother keeping any of the bits because it's just cheaper and easier to get a complete up-to-date modern beams engine. Um, this one here has been cooked really bad at one point. The carbonised oil on the covers and the uh, pistons, particularly the underside of the skirts, is really bad. <clears throat> so this engine was definitely doomed before Julian bought it. Uh, the customer said, oh, it's never done that before when it started knocking after he started it. I mean, he only paid a few hundred bucks for it, so it's not really a big loss, but it's the uh, fact that it had been doing it for a while. The seller would have just thrown a bottle of um, stop leak, or sorry, uh, lifter free or something like that. One of the um, uh, li well, lifter be quiet, essentially, a very thick, stiff, sticky oil in the uh, sump to try and quieten it down, and it still knocked. But the fact that it was knocking says that the bearing had failed before he even got to it. It didn't fail that day when they first started it. Uh, knocking usually occurs after the main bearing shredded itself and it's created excess play on the crankshaft. So, yeah, this engine was doomed from the start. These are the mains of what's left of them. As you can see, there's been debris and other stuff come through. There's a major score through that one there. That's number two main, that one there. Debris come through and just scored the hell out of it. Same with number one main. There's a big gouge through the white metal. Front covers covered in carbonized oil. It's, this thing's been running hot. There's the oil pump housing. Everything's pretty much trash on this. It's all way out of spec and way cooked. The front main seal has been done at some point, probably when they did the timing belt. That's one of the mains. That was the rear main cap and bearing. That one there. But the rest of them, like the big ends, yeah. They'd seen better days. Yeah. Julian has the uh, piston and bearings as a souvenir. I gave it to him last night, so... I can't show you that one again, but they were pounded into mush. Just pounded out of shape to the point where the, material, the bearing shell base metal was extruding itself out the sides of the uh, cap. It's just pound, 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 and it's just hammered it and squished it out around the, uh, the crank journal and the uh, big end. That's one of the pistons. As you can see, well and truly baked way past its service date. And again the sump's just full of sumps full of crunchies and bits of white metal off the failed bearing. I'm just gonna dump the rest of the oil out of that, scoop all this stuff up and put it in the scrap bin. Not worth keeping. Not when I can get better engines for much less cost than uh, trying to rebuild this one. I mean it's only a standard FE block. It does have a JE crank which is scored could be possibly be cleaned up. It is a forged steel crank, but again, there's no real point. It's, it's not worth the money. I can get a GE front cut for about 2,000 bucks delivered with a 3S GE beams engine in it. Uh, the whole wiring loom, the ECU, the radiator, everything is just a front cut from Japan. Complete working with a warranty. It's like a 20,000 K warranty on it. Yeah, not worth fixing kind of sad but oh well who cares I got my fair share of spare parts out of it <laughs> thanks for watching